Dear students, I wish to offer a course on human rights in India. My name is Professor Vyasar Murthy. I am the Executive Director for the Center for Human Rights Studies, O.P. Jindal Global University. I had earlier worked in the National Human Rights Commission of India for over 12 years, including as the Director Research. My past work in the National Human Rights Commission, as well as my current interest in the task of protection and promotion of human rights made me offer this course. Now let me tell you about the curriculum assessment in greater detail. In fact, the aim of this course is to give students an in-depth understanding of the nature, scope, enforcement of human rights in India. To, we begin with the uh, uh, comprehensive review of the constitutional provisions for the protection of human rights and thereafter we take up the legislative framework by way of special legislations uh, for the protection of human rights in general and in particular the legislations meant for protection of the rights of uh, marginalized and vulnerable sections such as women, children, persons from scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, minorities, persons with disabilities and so on and so forth. And in addition to this, we will also review the institutional framework for the protection of human rights in India. For instance, judiciary is the custodian of human rights in India uh, in the sense that uh, Supreme Court and human rights have powers under Article 232 and Article 226 for the protection of the fundamental rights. In addition to the judiciary, we have over 170 institutions by way of national commissions as well as state commissions for protecting human rights uh, or protecting the, uh, like women's rights, children's rights and we have of course uh, a national commission for scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and an office of the chief commissioner for persons with disabilities and also a central information commission. So we will look at the structure, functions, powers and some recent activities of each of these organizations and also critically evaluate their performance and their functioning. Now uh, this course will be offered in English and it is meant for postgraduate students who are pursuing a uh, master's program in human rights or LLM. Of course, uh, students from other disciplines can also take this course and uh, it's a credit based course and the successful completion of this course, um, the credits earned through this course will be recognized by your host university. This course will be taught over a period of 15 weeks and in each week there will be three to four modules and in each module uh, it, there are two parts. One video part consisting of 10 to 15 minutes of lecture and in addition there is a written part which tries to give uh, a detailed or a deeper understanding of the subject area along with resources for further reading. As far as assessment is concerned, uh, at the end of each third, every third week, there will be an assessment which will be, you know, uh, um, which will enable students to understand uh, their own learning and assess uh, their own uh, understanding of the uh, subject and uh, this will be followed by an end semester proctored examination and of course you will get announcements about from week to week through a dashboard that has been established and I will be sending uh, materials and I will be uh, uh, having some um, live discussion with you uh, by way of questions and of course I will be there to answer your queries from time to time. Happy learning.